So how do you actually create content that's optimized for your keywords? So you have certain keywords, right? Keywords you want to rank for, certain search terms that you want people to search on Google and your site pops up in first, but how do you actually optimize said content to rank high on Google? So keyword optimized SEO content. Now, before I show you how you can do it, let me show you first, right, how this content, the base of the content looks like. Now, you might notice, notice sorry, this is in Portuguese, right? All this in Portuguese. It's because with this software, you can generate content in over 150 different languages. Now, I'll go over why that's relevant in just a second here. But as you can see here, the content, even though you can read it, it's very visual, right? With the in article, sorry, with the featured images, a proper table of contents, proper article structuring with in article images, bullets, tables, quotes, videos that are relevant to what the content is about. This is an article about uh, indoor plants, and this video talks about uh, indoor plants. Again, the video is in Portuguese, right? The video is relevant to what the language of the article is about, right? There's external links, right? There's internal links, more images, quotes, and bullets. All this, again, is done with AI. Now, how do you actually optimize this, this piece of media, or piece of content, sorry, for the keywords you want to rank for? Now, it's quite simple, right? Uh, first, of course, you got to figure out what keywords you want to rank for, right? I mean, and I, I oftentimes... Uh, Give this example, but you want to figure out and go after BY keywords, BI keywords, buyer intent keywords. So keywords in which where a person is searching for them, right, they're highly likely to buy. And I oftentimes give this example, but I'll give it once again, right? Let's say I own an iPhone repair shop. This is my shop, iPhone repair, right? There's people coming in via Google or other search engines searching for how much does it cost to repair an iPhone or where to repair an iPhone. While there be other be while there might be some people, sorry, so might be some people, sorry, searching for um how to repair an iPhone, right? Now, the buyer intent is much higher with these types of people who are searching for how much or where than from someone searching for uh, how. Because someone searching for how, most likely, you would assume that they want to do it themselves, right? They want to repair the iPhones themselves. While someone searching for how much or where, most likely we can assume that they want to hire someone or pay someone to do it for them, right? And even though these have like 1,000 searches per month, and this has 10,000 searches per month, right? These searches are much more targeted and have such more higher buyer intent than these ones. So you should go after these ones. Now that's, I recorded the whole video on keyword research, which you can scroll down the channel and find, find it out. But if you're having trouble with it, just try and focus on buyer intent keywords. And if you're having further trouble with it, just go here to keyword monitors, add in your site, right? Add your site right here, new monitor, add your site, add your country, add your language. And it's going to spit out a bunch of keywords with their respective monthly searches and SEO difficulty and just skim through these ones and find I guess for your niche, right, for your language, for a specific business, try and find which of these keywords are buyer intent keywords based on this example right here. I mean, this example can be applied to any business, any niche, right? Now, once, of course, you have that nailed down, nailed down, sorry, when you go here to generate articles, right, you can fill all this in, right? You can select how many articles you want to generate. You can select if you want videos or not, if you want images, right, in article images or featured images, what type of images you want, stock photos, Google images, AI images, right? External linking, internal linking. Uh, so external linking essentially is links linking out to other sources, authoritative sources in your niche. For example, if it's an article about uh, finance, right? Linking out to Bloomberg, right? There's links scattered throughout the article linking out to Investopedia, uh, TechCrunch, right? And internal links right here is linking out, for example, to your homepage, linking out to other blog posts of yours, linking out to your contacts page, right? Your offer page, all this, right? Uh, you skip all this, I mean, you don't skip it. You, you fill all this in, right? And then you can even enable the disable all these sections right here. You can select the article size, call to action, uh, formatting. And when you go here, you, connect, you can also connect to the web, which I do recommend you connect to the web. But now here in the content tab, where you can select the language, the target country, the creativity levels, the tone of voice, the point of view, even custom instructions, there's a new thing right here called include exact keywords, one per line, right? And what you do here is you place in here your keywords, right? And we will force feed these keywords to the article, right? We will try to include them as exactly as you've written them. Make sure the keywords are related to the article topics and don't contain typos, right? Of course, if you're going to be generating an, art, an article about plants, it, you can try and force feed a feature here, a, a keyword on dog or iPhone repair, but it's going to be weird, right? Most likely you won't do it, but just know that you shouldn't be doing it, right? And so you, and once you have a list of keywords, list of buyer intent keywords, go here and add them one by one by one in each line, right? You can add as many as you like, right? And we'll force feed them into the article. Now make sure that Yes, you want to rank for uh, iPhone repair. Don't just add iPhone repair or how to do iPhone repair or iPhone repair them repair near me. So don't don't do this, right? And if you need help with your research, watch the I think it's two videos ago I talked about your research and how you do it, but don't be hyper aggressive with this, right? Because again, we're going to be including the exact match keyword you include here, right? So 
have long tail versions of your keyword, exact matches, uh, branded even if you want to include your brand name, which is quite valuable, do that as well, right? And yeah, that's essentially how you do it. Now, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that you can produce content in over 150 different languages. And the reason why I said that is because oftentimes people try to focus and try to rank for English, for the international English markets, for the English market, sorry. And they completely, completely discard that there's over 100 plus 50 different languages spoken all throughout the world, right? And there's Portuguese, Greek, Turkish, uh, Japanese, Chinese, right? There's all these other markets, right? Which oftentimes, because there's less search volume on these markets, right? There's less um, supply to satisfy the demand. Right? There's less supply of content to satisfy the demand people are or tend to search for that content in the local language. So with this, with Journal CI, you are able to produce content in the, the, uh, the local language of these countries. And because again, there's less competition, you're able to rank higher, faster and easier to some extent. Now, for example, if you have a, a Shopify store or e-commerce store, because Journal CI also connects with uh, Shopify and all these other platforms, if you have a Shopify store and you sell to the all Europe, right? You sell to Europe, right? And Europe, there's a bunch of different countries in Europe, right? Some speak Portuguese, like Portugal, Spanish, uh, French, right? Italian, uh, German, right? All these different languages, there are a bunch more, right? You can have dedicated blog pages or blog pages on your site, for example, blog for slash uh, ES, so Spanish blog, another four slash PT, so Portuguese blog, and you can produce content for your blogs in the, each of these countries' uh, local languages and drive local traffic to your blog. And of course, if your blog post is properly structured, you convert that blog traffic into paying customers, right? And you can automate all this, right? Just go here to auto blogs, uh, new auto blog. You can set up an auto blog in over 100 different, 150 different languages. You can select how many articles you want you to produce and publish, right? Every single month, week, day, 12 hours. Most you can do, most people just do five every week. So you have multiple auto blogs running for your brand. That's your brand has multiple auto blogs running for all of these different languages, right? All bringing in traffic to your brand. Hopefully this diagram makes sense, right? Multiple logs in multiple different languages, all bringing traffic to your brand. And of course, all keyword optimized, all in the local language, all with images, as you saw, videos, internal links, external links, bullets, tables, quotes, all this fully optimized. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can even click here, indexers. And as soon as the content is published to your blog, it's going to be syndicated to Google to index it faster. On top of that, you can go here to social media. And as soon as a blog post is posted to your blog, right, it is automatically syndicated, ooh, that's an arrow, syndicated to your social media platforms like LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, which is now called X, uh, Facebook. So as soon as it's landed on your blog, this is your blog, right? The individual blog post is syndicated to your social media platforms. Super, super powerful. Essentially what you're doing here is you're taking Journalist AI, you're connecting it with your site and it's doing the keyword research, it's doing the content generation, then content publishing, then content indexing, and then it's doing also the content syndication. Super powerful, give it a go. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link for this down below in the comments. Try it out, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you on the next one.